Yeah, thank you. Ajango twigishe mu mwanya mutoya nyigisho zacu. I want to discuss our sermon for in a short time. Tujye mu gikorwa cyo kwiga. We going the action of learning. Twabonye ko biba byiza ko umukristo yiga igice kimwe cya Bible. We saw that it's good for a Christian to learn about one part of the Bible. Ko kwiga Bible niko gusobanukirwa imbaraga z'Imana. Learning Bible is to know the power of God. Ntabwo byashoboka ko ukurikira Imana utasobanukiwe neza. It is impossible to follow God that you don't know. Birasaba ko ukurikira Imana mu buryo bwose. It requires you to follow God in all ways possible. Inya inyigisho zacu ziracyari ku kigisho twatangiye mu ruko kwezi. Uh, we are still under the topic that we started within this mass. Tuli kuchijisho churufati yoroko kuizera. We are under the topic of foundation of faith. Tukwa wa nyuburijo imana ya remye biyosi. We saw how God created everything. Tukwa nyuburijo haba anubako zichaha. We saw how people fell into sin. Biza na kuchiteka kwa imana. Then it impacted into God to persecute and judge. No nehorero imana ilimburisi yose kujie cha noa. So God destroyed the whole church. The whole world at the time of Noah. Everything that had been created. God regretted why he created it there. Uh, we don't teach you sir, that you, you, you have worries about this. We want to teach you sir, that you can know well. The power of God. And the working of God. And the authority that God gave to human beings. And what God requires from human beings. On this foundation of faith. We saw the working of the devil. We saw the working of human beings. Because the working of human beings is always weak. Most of the times it goes through this Disobedience. On the foundation of faith, it is clear that God gives the rights to human beings. God wants human beings to be independent. Feeling free in every situation. And doing everything according to his will. When God blesses you, he can't order the time to follow you. But he leaves you free. And he used the blessing that he gave you. Because God believes in people. But people don't trust God. That's why people are becoming cruel in all ways. In our foundation, this topic, which is uh, foundation of faith, we are going to see a subtopic known as the power of salvation. The power of salvation. We are going to read it from. John chapter 1 umurongo wa 12 kugeza ku murongo wa 13 verse 12 and 13 turagira ngo kicanitswe mu kirebe neza i want you to read the scripture well kadufatanye gusenga twese let us all of us pray first turagushimiye witeka imana we thank you god kubw'imbabazi zawe no mwoka wawe wera for your mercy and the holy spirit kutugiriye neza that you have done good to us kadumugisha wo gusenga you have blessed us to pray izina rya yari habwe kiyo your name be glorified izina rya yesu christ in the name of jesus christ amen amen yes our mugisha god bless you reka turebe mu rufatu rwo kwizera turebe imbaraga zagakiza let us see under the foundation of faith the power of salvation. The power, the power of salvation is that we are chosen from other people to be, to be children of God. This is what God chooses from people. There are so many people. It's a nation of so many people. More than 6 billion of people in this world. Who deserve to be real people. But God again chooses from that people, those people. For so many people don't serve God. They don't obey God. They don't believe in God. Those who believe in God. They tend to be children of God. Read John chapter 1 verses 12 and 17. 
They turned to be children of God. But the summary. Yohana gice cya mbere umurongo wa 12 ugeza kwa 13 ugeza kwa 13 jambo ry'imara avuga ngo icyakora abamwemeye bose bakizera izina rye yabahaye ubushozi bwo kuba abana b'Imana abo nti babyawe n'amaraso cyangwa n'ubushake bw'umubiri cyangwa n'ubushake bw'umugabo ahubwo babyawe n'Imana amen amen John chapter 1 verses 12 and 13 you read is but to all who received him who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the weed of the flesh, nor of the weed of man, but of God. Amen. Amen. Let us cry for Jesus. Come here, Samashi. Now let us also read John chapter 3, verse 3. Yohana, I will tell you that you are going to tell you that you are going to tell Yesu aramusubiza ati nukuri nukuri ndakubwira yuko umuntu utabya ubwa kabiri tabasha kubona ubwami bw'Imana amen John chapter 3 verse 3 reads Jesus answered him Truly truly I said to you unless one is born anew he cannot see the kingdom of God amen Utizeye if you don't believe ntashobora kubatizwa you cannot be baptized bikwiriye yuko byanze bikunze ubanza kwizera imana you deserve first of all to believe in god ukabatizwa then you become baptized kubatizwa rero nta kundi bibiliya yavuze baptism according to the bible ni mu mazi menshi it's nothing else but baptism in much water amazi menshi much water kugira ngo abashe kukubyara so that you can be born again kuko twabyawe n'isi because we were born by the earth we are born by the earth through the power of God. When God mixed up uh, mud, and then we are born by the earth. The components of the Son of Man, they are here in the earth, within the soil. So through getting water, God created the image of man. He, he created man after considering his own image. That is the power of God. After which he said, This is enough. Now it is right for all people to believe in God and then be baptized in much water. The word of God shows us that people who committed sin before the coming of Jesus Christ, they shall be judged according to the book, uh, the five books of Moses. Bizeri jamborje, ba mukuri chire, ba mizeri. Abatano kanya ni mihango ya ndi madini yosi. Ayaba yuda, ayaba jirichi, hanyi mabizeri. Kristo yesu mwame wabamu. But as prophesied by Isaiah, the coming of Jesus Christ, he came so that people may believe in him, he may save them, and he may separate them from other tribes of the Jews, of the Greeks, and other kind of tribes. Ichi jie tulimorero, nukwa ba anuvizera mubaro mejiche chichumu murongo wa chenda. As we read it from Romans chapter 10 verse 9, it's time for people to believe. Bakizera umitima yao. They believe within their hearts. Baka turakwa raba anabima. And they declare that they are children of God. Kwa Yesu Christu ya pfuye. That Jesus died. Yesu Christa kazuka. And Jesus resurrected. No neho muri Yohane jiche chamberu murongo wa ambere. Now in John chapter 1 verse 1. This shows that the word was the word. Who is Jesus Christ? Now in verse 12 and 13. He, he transforms what God created in his own way. Here there is transformation of things. So all people, as you read it from Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, all people who are created by God, 
Iri tangi ni chacha mbere mungu ma kumi ya naga tanda tu. Genesis chapter one verse twenty six. Bitu ere kuburji manare mnyomo. It shows the way how man was created. Yesu Christ urero haribja jiku hindura. There is what Jesus Christ came to transform. Koko mngi ere ma na wa yara hari. So he was there in the beginning when the earth was created. Agenda re ba mateka ya Moses. He went on looking at the history of Moses. Are ba mateka ya Bami. He saw the uh, the king's history. Are ba mateka ya mateka ni ne history. Which is the history of the kings. And then he saw the history of prophets. Then he came as a, 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 a prophet greater than other prophets. Who came to connect the, 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 the Old Testament. And the New Testament. So he merged them in his flesh. Through Jesus Christ. There is the Old Testament. And the, uh, the prophetic part. And there is also the second part. Of the apostles. Prophetic part and the history and the part of the good news, which is the uh, the New Testament of today. So they are connected in one person. So to trust this person, who is calling on the past history, and you get this, the today's affairs. We shall be manifest, manifesting the power of transforming everything as we find it in the book of Revelation. Everything is finished in him. He was there in the beginning. And it shall also come at the time of judgment. But God needs the law of human beings. Through your, your selection and education. God needs your choice. Through preachings. And then you declare, with, you confess with your mouth. What your heart believes. That Jesus Christ is God. Then he shall be blessed. Yes, God bless you. <clears throat> so those who believe in him, they are given other extraordinary powers among the people that were created. They are no longer people created God as we read it from Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. But they have turned to be children of God, being born out of God. They are preached with a good word. As we read it from Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8, all the apostles were sent. The good news was preached. Now people accepted the words in their hearts. They confessed that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who died and resurrected. No, no, but how would they go? Now they are given the rights to believe in God. After believing in God, they were baptized in the much water. Then they turn to be children of God. These ones were not created through your will or the parents who those children. But they have turned to be children of God. It's not God has devalued a parent. Because also the parent needs the greater parent who is God. But the word of God comes to separate believers and unbelievers. Not, not because God wants to separate people, but he wants people to believe in him. Then he separates them from an unbelievers. So when you have seen all this, that our faith is endless, we need also to be, be baptized in the water. God bless you. Amen. 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 Let's assume this is a person who is going to baptize others. He's going to baptize another person. He's going to baptize somebody else in water. He has immersed him in water. 
After laying him in water, then the person is baptized. What does God require from us? It's a secret of belief. Faith is something that people cannot perceive. This one came to preach the word of God. After teaching the word of God, this one who is going to be baptized, yes, he accepted. After accepting, he was immersed in water. This uh, shows something else. And it this is a place where we are. We have turned to be children of God. It is not enough. So believing is not enough. It is removed by lack of faith. What is in the heart of Son of Man? Is it shown the word that he speaks out? When he meets challenges, the power of God, the goodness of God, the glory of God, the grace of God I bear with me I don't know where people get this cross I don't know where people brought this cross from for Jesus Christ was, uh, was crucified on a tree his, his arms were tied together and then the legs were tied together also because of the long time he spent being tied in the place he was nailed in the, in the, in the toes and also the hands were hanged up on this tree it was a very big tree on which they wrote that the king of kings. So Jesus now is assuming he's here. But being here is different from baptism. For he was also baptized. But in his baptism. It is clear that he was nailed. They nailed him. So he has to die here. And he has the divine power of God. It is hard for a person who was weak in belief. Because all of us, uh, we need to see things that are visible. And that is the secret of God. In the invisible things, it shows the power of God. That's how the word of God tells us in Romans. So we have believed in the word of God which comes from the mouth of this preacher. He says, I'm coming from, in the name of my father and the name of the son and the name of the Holy Spirit. These who fabricated this cross they are so uh, wise people. It is clear that Jesus Christ was touching down and up of the tree. He came from up the cross. And then he came and crucified. But the one who fabricated this cross said, it is not for the Jews and the Israelites only. But we deserve also and also nations to be given the power of salvation. After which they were based from the apostles. They told the apostles, go and preach the good news. Uh, the water which is spread on the forehead, it is not enough. And it is unknown. What is known is the death of the Son of Man to die through the water. After dying into the water, he changes to be a new creature. He deserves to be another special person. In changing to be a special person, he deserves first of all to die through this water. For the water shows the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And is born of the Holy Spirit. You, and he obeys the word of God coming from the servant of God. And then this servant of God who is full of the divine power comes and he, he, he puts him, lays him in this water. To give birth from this water. He's, and then he gives birth from this water. No, no, no. 
So it shows how the son of man comes out of water. What does this show? This shows that this person who is born out of water this person who comes out of water he had to be given the authority of being the son of God. So we should have a basis of foundation here. Our faith is, is like it fries. But God says, though, though people fry or jump, and what they have gets out of them, but I have to seal it with a seal. So we need now, we need a dove, a dove to come, comes and flies over this person. Showing that the power of heaven have, has descended over this person. This is the power of the Holy Spirit. Showing that this person is born out of water. He deserved to be confirmed by heaven. The heaven is open for him. So that you can be identified in heaven. Because now you are born out of the spirit of God. For the love of the mighty God. Who came, who came to find the people. But people had a heart full of problems. A heart full of problems. This heart is full of problems. One part of it was removed from it. It now destroyed. And the, the heresy part is so small. It needs the divine power. Being inspired by the Holy Spirit. Which shows this... Uh, Dove, and then it restores the other part which was removed from the person. God comes and raises everything there. You turn to be a new creature. This person now, he has a relationship with heaven for the power of the Holy Spirit. Because of the message that he received of the good news and he was born out of this water, he's not born out of his parents, but he's coming in the protocol of God. He was born out of man and woman, but that's the working of people. For God, this is not enough. He confessed with his mouth. For God, it is not enough. Uh, it we require, I mean, heaven required to confirm that this person exists. His lost part is now restored. Because he was baptized in the much water. The problem we have is one. Why do you come in the church? After which then your heart. You brought a, 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 a disturbed heart. And a broken heart. A broken heart. Candy. So even the heresy part, the heresy small part you had, now is now becoming destroyed gradually. But no matter, for people who hurt you are saying many. They wanted you to be strong. And you seek for the word of God. And you continue to believe in heaven. For we are born out of heaven. For God already created the heart. He destroyed that heart. He gave you a new heart. He restored a good heart for you. Why do you maintain your heart being broken like that? That's why you don't value such a heart. Continue to be fastened on your God. God needs your relationship with him. They are not just words. And it's not only a face. But God needs actions. Are you baptized in much water? Were you given the Holy Spirit? 
kubera ko izuru ryaguhamije because god confirm heaven confirm imana irabona ko umuntu yivuguruza mu magambo avuga god says that a person uh, contradicts in the word that he says ariko umuntu akwiriye gupfira muri aya mazi but he need to die in the water akazuka ari cyaremwe gishye you come out as a new creature ibwo buzima bwawe mu isi that is your Christ. life in this earth umugabo niko demo yari umwanditsi Nicodemus was a writer of books. Yari umuhanga. He was a wise man. Yari umwe mu bigisha. He was among the apostles. Yari umwe mu bandika iby'ijambo ry'Imana. He was among the writers of books of the world. Urwego rwa Bayuda. At the level of Jews. Ariko aza kwegera Yesu. But he came to Jesus. Aramubwira ngo mwami Yesu. And to him King Jesus. Bona muno basha gukora ikintu kiza. None can do a good thing. Ngo keretse abwirijwe nawe. And let's told by you. Yesu aramwitegereza aramureba. Jesus uh, looked at him and he said yes it's true no now you are a teacher of law and yet you don't know about the word of God don't you know that man deserves to be born again when you are not born again you shall never see the kingdom of God this is so hard but it's again simple. For the simple problem we have here is just to take your choice. That's what God wants. And God gives us rights. Everybody has freedom of choosing. That's why people deserve to seek for God. So we see a very great benefit from this. The first benefit we see from this is to be a child of God. Amen. Amen. The second benefit is to see the kingdom of God. What does this mean? Kuba umwana w'Imana twaranyije kubibona. We have seen how we become a child of God. No no tumaze kubona, no no tugiye gushaka ubwami bw'Imana. Now we are going to see the way to, of seeking of the uh, kingdom of God. Ubwami bwo mwisi, uh, the kingdom of this earth. Bgeguriwe Satan. It was given to, uh, to Satan. Niko bimeze. That's how it is. Niwe mwami w'isi. He is the king of this universe. No neho muri isi turimo twebwe. So in this uh, us where we live. Aba baya baba baya bana b'Imana. These are tend to be children of God. Bakwiriye kurwanira muri isi. They deserve to struggle in this earth. Bakarwana intambara yo kwizera. They struggle with the battle of faith. Bakarwana intambara yo kuryo bwose. They struggle with the battle of different types. Kugira ngo bakomeze guhinduka abana b'Imana. They they continue to be children of God. Ndaguhurugero. I give an example. Umwana wawe yagiye kwishuri bakamukubita inkonyo cyangwa bakamukubita. When your child goes to school and is uh, punished at school, when he has been fighting with other children, then he's punished. It's something ordinary. When he comes crying, you tell him, my child, be strong. This earth is teaching you. We also have strong things in the earth. We deserve to fight with the will of Satan. For he wants to take the will of God from us. And he wants to deny us to go to the kingdom of God. You are created in the power of God where you are separated from the creation of man that's what the devil fights with, uh, with, with for him to take the kindness of God from you and then he denies you to, ha to, to, to inherit the kingdom of God that's why you have to be taught the sad thing is to free from the wrath of God The wrath of God that we see from Revelation chapter 20 starting from verse 1 upwards they show you how the devil will be bound for the devil has to be bound for the one who has the key is Jesus Christ. The key of underground. And the key of heaven. Then the, he has to bind the Satan. After binding him. It shall be clear that all people are set free. So we have a problem here. In Matthew chapter 3. 
umurongo wa karindwi bahadusomere read for us abo bana mudufashe be gukomeza kurira umubyeyi ufite umwana urize basokane bagende bamufashe gungu mujinya w'Imana cyangwa se bizatera freeing from the wrath of god matayo gatatu umurongo wa karindwi matayo chapter 3 verse 7 matayo ibice bitatu umurongo wa karindwi aravuga ngo abonye abafarisayo n'abasadukayo benshi bazanywe no kubatizwa arababaza ati mwabana binshiramwe ninde waburiye ngo muhungu mujinya uzatera mwabana binshiramwe ninde ubaburiye ngo muze muhungu mujinya wibizatera mukaba muje gushaka kubatizwa but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who want you to free from the wrath to come? Hallelujah. Amen. No, no, Johan, now John chapter 3. Starting from verse 15. Up to verse 18. Johan, Jambo ry'Imana ravuga ngo kugira ngo umwizera wese abone guhabwa ubugingo buhoraho kuko Imana yakunza abari mwisi cyane byatumye itanga umwana wayo w'ikinege kugira ngo umwizera wese atarimbuka ahubwa habwa ubugingo buhoraho kuko Imana itatumye umwana wayo mwisi gucira aho abari mwisi witeka ahubwo yabikoreye kugira ngo abari mwisi bakizwe nawe umwizera ntacirwaho witeka utamwizera amaze kuri cirwaho Kuko atize izina ry'umwana w'Imana w'ikinege amen John chapter amen. 3 verse 15 to 18 reads that whoever believes in him may have eternal life for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life for God set the son into the world not to condemn the world but the world might be saved through him he who believes in him is not condemned he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the Holy Son of God. Amen. Amen. Let us clap for God. No, no. To get us some, if you are sure, Murongo, what you mean, Akabiri, could you go with Koro Here? Let us also read Revelation chapter 20, verse 12. Koko, Ugova Hashaka to Rebe. Kuaba Nabi Mana. So becoming children of God, it is not only it's not that enough. We deserve also to see the kingdom of God. Meaning we need to inherit heaven. Nothing else where you can get it. It is through salvation and being baptized in Machota. For us to free from the wrath of God. Then after which your name is registered in the book of eternal life. In the book of eternal life, whoever shall be written in it, then the number triple six shall not touch him. He shall be given the power of, of confronting in trip, uh, number, trip, triple number six. Koko, ahoni o hajiye kugaragara, church menyetsa wanu wachis gwe muga hanga. This shows the other sign or the other marker which people have in their foreheads. Uh, Others shall have it in their right hand. It is clear that many people are going to turn to Jesus in that way. That's why it is the responsibility of God to bless the people of God. People who have plans. People who have uh, industries. Industries and the factories. Bafite having enough wealth bafita masoko yabo having their markets bafita mabanka yabo having their own banks kugyango batazashobora gutwarwa naka kanamba ka 6666 so that they shall not have this number 36 birakwiriye yuko tugira icyo dukora uyu munsi we deserve to have something to do kugirango aka kanamba katazatubuza ngo dushirwe mu kindi gitabo cyo kurimbuka twarashyizwe mu gitabo cy'ubugingo buhoraho so that this number 36 may, uh, may not deny us to be written in the book of life mukoro ko mushoboye do whatever you can kugyango mushobore gutabarwa so that can be helped ubutunzi bubazeho may you have wellness ni sezerano ry'Imana it's a promise of god ariko kandi 
tugomba kurigenderamo mu mbaraga zo kwizera we have to go by the uh, by the promise of god through the power of faith kuko icyo dukwiriye gukora niki nuko kandi kwa mu gitabo cy'ubugingo buhoraho what we deserve to do is to be written and stay in the book of eternal life ibyayishuwe 2012 revelation chapter 20 verse 12 ibyayishuwe 2012 umurongo wa 12 jambo ry'imana avuga ngo aba mbona abapfuye abakomeye naboroheje bahagaza imbere y'iyo ntebe nuko ibitabo birabumburwa kandi n'ikindi gitabo kirabumburwa ari cyo gitabo cy'ubugingo abapfuye bacirwa imanza z'ibyanditswe muri ibyo bitabo zikwiriye ibyo bakoze amen amen revelation chapter 20 verse 12 reads <clears throat> and i saw the dead great and small standing before the throne and the books were opened also another book was opened Hallelujah. which is the book of life and the dead were judged by what was written in the books by what they had done amen yes god bless you ah uh, this book of life exists we have to be registered there tugomba kwakiriga bururyera we have to receive the holy communion kuko tugomba kubona ibintu biduhuza na Kristo Yesu so we have to have something to connect us to Jesus Christ harumo batizo there is a baptism hari ni gabururyera and there is the holy communion igabururyera kubera iki the holy communion why nuko umanyura umugati to the break of the blood ushushanwa no mubiri wa Kristo which shows the body of Jesus Christ no gufata ji and also taking the juice no neho ukayihindura maraso ya Yesu Kristo and you turn it to be the blood of Jesus Christ warangiza ukarya wa mugati after which you eat the blood ari wahindutse umubiri wa Kristo which turn it to be the blood of Jesus bikinjira muri system komeza go ahead the blood which turn to be the body of Jesus umugati wahindutse umubiri wa Kristo Yesu the blood which turn to be the body of Jesus Christ akabari umira and then you swallow it up ugafata na yaje ahindutse amaraso ya Yesu Kristo and you take also the juice which turn to be the blood of Jesus akabari yunwa and then you drink it bikinjira muri system y'umubiri wawe it goes through your, your, your body system ntabwo bishobora kugukurwaho it cannot go away from you cheretse upfuye unless you die and then this bizabaho it shall be there of course ariko imana but god izagutoranya shall choose you muri yohana as we read it from john igice cha gatandatu chapter 6 umurongo wa 152 kugeza kwa 154 verses 52 to 54 ahangane ho bigaragarira this way i will read it tugomba kwakiriga buroryera we have to receive the holy communion yeah is they what Six up to fifty six. John chapter six fifty two. I'm winding up. Receiving Holy Communion. Johanna, if you tend to do a Kumonga Mogutan and a Kaviri, to get a Kumonga Mogutan and Agatanda Jamboji Maravango, Avayuta Vajim Hakavati, Bese Uyava Shatekudum will be Wango Turki. Yes, Arabavirat. Nukuri, nukuri. Ndabwira yuko ni mutarya umubiri w'umwana w'umuntu. Nimunwe n'amarasoye, nta bugingo muba mufite muri mwe. Urya umubiri wanje, akanwa amarasoye yanje, abafite ubugingo buhoraho. Nange nzamuzura ku munsi w'imperuka. Mm. Kuko umubiri wanje ari ibyo kurya byukuri, n'amarasoye yanje ari ibyo kunywa byukuri. Urya umubiri wanje, akanwa amarasoye yanje, aguma muri nje, nange nkaguma muri we. Amen. Amen. John chapter 6, uh, verses 52 to 56. Read. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I said to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. Amen. Baptism is not enough. We deserve to eat and receive Holy Communion. We have to get a connection between us and Jesus Christ. He was baptized. He is the Son of God. He is the one who shall give eternal life. 
another thing that connects us not face the wrath of God but a seat on the throne of judgment and you are given the authority to be written in the book of life by his name he received the holy communion he tells you I'm the life. You deserve to eat my flesh. You eat me. And you drink my blood. Jews said no. We have never drunk and eaten anybody's flesh and blood. How do you come? He said that's how it is. Let me tell you sure. Faith is faith. It's not something physical. metaphor. He got a metaphor. He got his body. And changed it like a bread. He said whoever eats this bread. Shall have eaten me. Whoever shall drink this uh, juice. Shall have drunk me. For you to live. For you to live. You deserve to eat me. After eating me then. Then shall I be given eternal life. Who forever eats me. And drinks my blood. Abides, uh, abides in me. I come and enter in him. And at the last day. I shall choose him from the dead people. After which I shall raise him up. His name shall be written in the book of life. I shall know him. Then I shall raise him. I shall raise him to go and sit with my father in heaven. For yet, he ate me and I'm within him. He has already abode in me. We have turned to be one person. Now we shall go and sit at the right hand of my father. In the glory of the most high God. We need the connections with Jesus. We need connections with God. This is what God established. Otherwise, it could be like other people. But what do we have more than them? As I wind up, is the protection of God. The second thing, we are children of God. The third thing, our names are written in the book of eternal life. Anything that you should worry. It can hurt your body. But the life and the soul has already, go, has already gone at the owner. We are like people. We are not people like others. We are other different people. We are born by God. We are children of God. We attest to this. Nothing can take it from us. The mercy of God is within us. The kindness of God is within us. The glory of God is within us. The goodness of God is within us. The eternal life is within us. We ate Jesus Christ. We swallowed him. Is one of the components of our job. Is among the components of our blood. Is among the components of our tendons. He's among the components of our, of our bones. He's already entered there. Our vessels is composed of the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Our blood has the component of Jesus Christ. DNA. Our DNA, our blood piglets and, 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 and DNA is Jesus Christ within us. He shall separate us from other people. The fire shall vomit people out. The water shall vomit people out. The symmetry will vomit people out. They shall rise to be judged. 
But God has told us Me I shall identify you For you have been my people I shall identify you I shall distinguish you from others You are my people I cannot deny you You are my people I shall separate you from the dead I shall take you At my right side of my father Where I also live and then the judgment shall be over glory be to the name of the Lord